What happened after I told my Hindu family that I was Christian? I've been wanting to share this for a long time, but I just felt like I needed to be perfect. I was at church one day and a missionary couple came and this missionary couple was like 60 years old. I go up to them, I find out that they are helping Indians find Jesus. And I asked them, hey, um, so tell me a little bit, you mentioned something about your dad and how he rejected you. Tell me about that. I never had a really good relationship with my dad and it just always affected me. And some days that they get better, but in other days, I still struggle with that pain. So it never really went away. I just kind of have better ways to handle it. And I realized that I could wait years for that situation to get healed and it may never get healed. And this, this woman is still uh, telling people about Jesus. That I have struggled to maintain my relationship with the Lord after my persecution. I think self-isolation was something that I used to do all the time. After I was persecuted, I would self-isolate myself. I wouldn't try to hang out with new friends or my Christian friends. I wouldn't try to open up with others because I was afraid. What if they just betray me? What if I just open up and trust and love them with all my heart, but then they just reject me, betray me, share things about me. I didn't have Christian friends that I could rely on. I didn't have any Christian friends to begin with this journey before I told my family that I was Christian. Like if you are really falling away from the Lord, or if you're following the Lord, but you're getting persecuted or you're going through a pit of persecution right now, you don't understand what's left and what's right. Even though that my persecution brought me far from the Lord when it was intended to bring me closer to God, God still cared for me and allowed me and he was patient with me. I didn't deserve half of it. I didn't deserve half of his miracles or half of his grace. I didn't deserve any of it, but God gave it and he was patient. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for his staff and rod, they comfort you. God is with you till the end of the days.